hello and welcome back to my channel um in this video i want to give my thoughts on um the saga that's going on between um um femi fanikayode and his um estranged wife his ex-wife um her name is um um somebody chikwendo i think that's her name um the wife his wife that just the last one because from what i understand i think he He's been married several times, and uh, I don't know if this is the third or the fourth wife. I'm not exactly very sure. But um, apparently, um, he's having, he's separated or divorced or something like that with this, his um, last wife, this very um, precious chicken, I think that's her name, precious chicken. Yeah, that has um, his four boys and I, from what I understand, I think these are the only male children that um femi fanikayode has and for those of you who do not know femi fanikayode is um a politician he's one of the top politicians in nigeria he was a one-time minister i'm not exactly very sure the position where he's holding now, but one thing i know is that he is um a politician in nigeria so um apparently he has an issue with his um wife um precious chikwendo and um, they had four children together, um, a first child and then a triplet for all boys. And they, it happens that they, I think something happened in the marriage, they are separated. I don't know if they are um, officially divorced. And then he held back the children. So as we speak, the four children are with him. And um, not just that the children are with him, the woman who was um is bad from seeing these children so apparently since the issue happened the woman since the lady left the house she has not set her eyes on her children and i want to just um put my voice because i've seen several things that people have said and i i believe and i am um also um i agree with most of the opinions that i've seen so far with regards to this with regards to this uh, particular issue and what I want to say in this video is, um, first of all, I want to address the part of the level of injustice and the miscarriage of justice that is that exists in our country, Nigeria. It's so unfortunate that from that w place where we come from, it's like everything is just going on bad, bad, but like it's, it's like it, where you think that, okay, somebody can just get a little bit of lease of life from this aspect and you hear another story that makes you so saddened i read about this story today and i am so saddened saddened because i am a mother and i am a wife and as a woman i feel very bad and seeing the pictures of these children these children are pretty very young they are very very like very little children and to think that you know this man will want to separate these children from their mother at this tender age and what really made me more angry in this case is not just the fact that this apart from the fact that this man so so to say has alienated these children from their mother at this very tender age handing them into the hands of nannies because i saw one post that he made i think sometime in december apparently trying to brag how he's taking care of the children how the children are happy without their mother look there is no way these kids are really very still very young they can't really speak they can't really do much but there is no way anybody will tell me that those children are happy without their mother that is the story for another day and to think that because this man is a politician because of the power that he has in the society he is um giving such um, um, privilege that he's able to do something like this and he gets away from it. So I was reading an article that was writ um, written in one of the um, Nigerian um, newspapers. And then I was made to understand from the post that there was actually a court injunction that gives this woman, you know, the right to see the children, so to say, like visitation rights, so to say. But incidentally, it happens that every single time that this woman was supposed to go see her children, she, I think she's supposed to, I, I, I saw a video that she, she posted, I think on her Instagram post, where she was supposed to go see the children and they were supposed to meet in a park. 
and this lady came to the park and she was there for almost six hours these children were never brought to her and from what she was saying in this video this incident this kind of a thing has happened over and over and over like several times it's like each time there was a scheduled visit that she was supposed to see her children she would wait and wait and wait and these children would never show up and i begin to ask myself and you know what makes femi fanikayo or whatever his name is to think that it is right for him to do this and also what makes him think that by alienating these children from their mother that it is a, a, a show I, I don't care how much money he spends on taking care of these children i don't care how much he pays to nannies i don't think care what he thinks that he's you know putting out there to brag that he's taking care of these children it is wrong it is evil for him not to let these children have contact with their mother they are still very young it is wrong and also i was reading i would just read the um the article that i saw on the i think on the daily post you know of um, february 23rd 23rd and today is 25th that's basically this article was written two days ago and in that article i realized i i see that the judge imagine i i i, I still i cannot wrap my head around it that in a country like Nigeria, it's so unfortunate that the courts actually, you know, gave an injunction that this woman has no rights, that she should not for any reason discuss anything that has to do with her children, both in the private and in the public. Like, who does that? It is bad enough that this woman has been barred from seeing her children, and now somebody is trying to tell her that she does not have any right to say anything about what she's going through with regards to what is happening with her children. This woman is not asking anybody for anything. All she wants is to come to a park and set her eyes on her children, hug her children, make them know that she is still there, even though she's not living in the house with them now, to tell them that irrespective of what is going on, you still have your mother. I am still alive and I still love you. And somebody is telling her, that she has no right to say anything that has to do with her children. She should not complain. She should not cry about it. She shouldn't say anything. And to think that somebody said that she must not say anything about the children, both in the public and in the private. I, I, like, I ask myself, okay, now, if all the attention, attention is being given to this woman, giving her all these injunctions, you must not do this, you must not do that, you must not do this. And I keep asking myself, since I saw this issue with Femi Fane Kayode and the wife, I have not seen anything and anywhere that anybody is calling Femi Fane, his name is like a tongue twister to me, Kayode, on what he's doing. I am yet to see somebody, one person, maybe, you know, a top ranking person, somebody to say, this, what this man is doing is wrong. You see this man, I saw him, I feel, I, I, he was so, I felt so appalled. And he was bragging, singing, you know, God has given him victory, whatever song he was singing. Bragging on how he's taking care of the children, that the children are, okay, their children cannot be, uh, look, I want to put this out here to women and men as, uh, as well. It is so wrong for you to think that you can separate children from their parents whether they is the mother or the father, because you're having issues with, their, with your spouse. The children have no reason to suffer for whatever that is going on between you and your spouse. You do not have any right whatsoever. The children deserve the right to see, to be part, you know, to, to enjoy both parents, whether they are living together or they are living apart. Whatever is going on between the two of you, the children must not be brought into it. And let me tell us something. Whether anybody wants to believe it or not, Femi Fani Kayode, or whoever that is connected to him in one way or the other, that may see this video and want to address this man, uh, uh, you know, advise this man. It's so unfortunate that because of who he is, or who he thinks he is, because of his position in the society, he thinks he can do something like this and get away with it. He thinks he can do something like this and it is okay and nobody's saying it. And I ask myself, does this man have 
siblings? Does he have sisters? Does he have cousins? Does he have people who are women who could, you know, try to feel what precious children is feeling at this point in time? This lady is pained. She is pained. She is, she is going through something. And to tell you, let me tell you something, whether we want to believe it or not, these children are also feeling the pains of their mother's absence. It's unfortunate that they are so young, they cannot say it. They cannot do anything. They, there is nothing these children can do at this point in time. But it is very, very wrong. It is wrong for any man to think that it is okay to separate children from their mother, especially at this tender age. And the same goes to women. Most women, they do that when they have issues with their husband, their, uh, their spouse. They think that one of the things they have to do to punish that man is to, is to bar them from seeing their, you know, their child or their children. They keep the children away from them. They, I mean, they hide them away from them. And it, it, it is so wrong. The child deserves to enjoy the love of both the mother and the father. They deserve that right. They have that right. Whatever that is going on between the two of you, the children should not come in between. The children should not suffer for it. And again, let me tell you something. One thing I know is that whether anybody wants to believe it or not, these things have psychological effect on children. They know what is happening. They may not be able to speak. They may not be able to say anything, but they know that something is going on. They know it. They feel it. And the trauma of this thing will grow up with these children. And oftentimes, in most cases, it doesn't turn out good. You may be thinking now that you are doing something to pressure Shikwendo, but you are actually sowing a seed because trust me, these boys will grow up, will grow up, God helping you because you're already an old, uh, uh, old man. God helping you stay alive when these children are grown and you begin to see the seed of what you are sowing, you are sowing into the life of these children they begin to manifest because if you, without you knowing it, you are creating a monster because you are creating bitterness and hatred in the hearts of these children. You might think that they will end up being there, hating their mother. You might try to do that now, but it will get to a point when these children will, will, list, will know, they will understand what is going on. They will be able to act out what they have seen growing up. Children that we are alienated from their parents, be it the mother or the father in this manner, it never turns out, it never turns out well for that other parent. You might think you're the one with them now. You might think that you're the one that is enjoying them now. You might think you are the one that, oh, you have the upper hand. You can do whatever. Precious children can go do whatever. But let me tell you something. Children, no matter how young you think they are, they see and they know what is going on. You might think they don't. They do. They are seeing what is happening. They, they are knowing what they see what is happening. They see it and they are feeling it and they are internalizing whatever it is. As time goes on, you begin to see them act based on the seed you have sown into their life. Because you think you are trying to be mean to this woman. And it's unfortunate because most women do it. Most women also do things like that. You have issue with your husband. You think the worst thing you can do to him to get at him is to Take the children away and make sure that he doesn't see the children. You make sure that he doesn't that he does not see the children again. It is it is wickedness. It is not just affecting the woman. It is also affecting the children. It is not only traumatizing this woman. The children also are being traumatized. If you're a woman and you do something like that, you are not just traumatizing your husband, but you are also traumatizing that those children. Because they are feeling the impact of what is happening. Irrespective of the fact that they cannot say anything now. They may not do anything now. But the truth about it is that whatever that is happening is affecting them. And in no, less than no time, when they are old enough to act out, you see them begin to act out. And you begin to wonder where is this coming from. Because you are sowing a seed of hatred in their hearts. And that hatred eventually will turn out. It's like you, somebody creating a monster. You are sure that that monster will eventually come back to bite you. He will come back to bite you. That is just the simple truth about it. This is mean. And it's unfortunate that in our society, Nigeria, things like this happen every day. When people who think that they are in a place of authority, 
people who think that they are, they have power, they can do anything and they get away with it. The judges are saying whatever they are saying because it is Femi Fani Kayode. You take money and you kill justice. You take money and you destroy justice. You take money and you, 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 you smear your conscience that you don't even have conscience anymore. You don't feel what this woman is feeling. Nobody has sat down to understand what exactly is go this woman is going through right now. It is unfortunate. It's go it happens everywhere. In our society in Nigeria, that is, the that is why you see, it seems as if everybody has is gradually turning to something else, trying to make money because they feel like once I have money, I have the power. I can do whatever I want to do. It is so unfortunate that our society has turned to that what it is today. It is not right. It is not right. And for people who will stay there and be like, oh, why, why she may, I mean, she can always, look, for every woman out there, for every man out there, no matter what is going on between you and whoever your spouse is, don't ever take it up on the, on the children. It is not fair. It is wickedness. I don't know when our society in Nigeria will change some of this mentality. It comes everywhere. Anybody, be it pastors, be it uh, 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 politicians, be it anybody that has a little, a little power, no matter how small it is, they think they can use it to do whatever they want to do. And the unfortunate thing is that they are in a society where it seems that the law doesn't mean anything. Drop a little change in the hand of the lawyer. Drop a little change in the hand of the judges. They begin to speak in a different language. It is so unfortunate. I was watching this woman's video this evening and I was feeling so terrible. I can imagine what she is going through. Sitting in a park for six whole hours waiting to see her children. And the children were nowhere to be found. And this is not the first time. For how long will that go on? Femi Fanekayode. Just understand that there is something that is called karma. You may have the money today. You may have the power today. Whatever you think you're giving these children, you are creating monsters in the life of those children. And they will grow up to hunt nobody else but you. And everyone else around you that cannot open up to tell you the truth. And for everyone that is watching, there is a, 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 a like a link where they are, I think like a petition that is open for this lady. And so many other women who are going through things like that. If you have opportunity, you can search for, for, the, for, the, um, for the link of, for the support for her. Sign the petition. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. And, and one funny thing, one thing that bothers me is that this, is, this man is supposed to be a politician. Nigeria, right? And what does politicians do? What do they do? These are people who go into power to fight for the welfare of the people and to think that you're doing this thing to a, the mother of your children and tomorrow somebody like this will come out contest for an election hold a public office and you tell me that you are fighting for the interest of the people when you are doing such mean things to your own family to a woman that had your for your 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 children for you and doing the same this thing to your children and i because I, the reason why i say your children is because like I said before, you think whatever you're doing is just affecting precious children. No, it is also affecting those, those little boys. You drove away their mother. You barred them from seeing their mother and you left them in the hands of nannies. What can nannies possibly do? How much love do you think those nannies will have for those children more than their own mother? It is not right. Nigerian society, it is not right. It is unfortunate. And for people who know this thing and they cannot open their mouth to talk to Femi Fane Kayode because of money, because of whatever he thinks he, whatever, whatever position he, he thinks he is, it's so unfortunate that the those in our power in our country who are supposed to protect us are the ones who are intimidating our people. It is not right. It is not right. For as many that have the opportunity to speak up, people need to speak up for this woman. And for, as many, for many others who are going through the same thing. It is not right. Anyway, that is just my thoughts about this. I am so pained because I followed this story. I think I saw it the last time I saw it was sometime in December. And this just a few hours ago, I saw on Instagram where she posted again. And it's not right. Anyway, as always, whatever is your thought, you can always leave it at the comment section. With this, I will say thank you for watching. Bye-bye.